you are all they can think about. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. They've cried over you. They're thinking of you. And like two things about thinking and clear mind. Like their mind is on you. And they're upset because I think maybe what happened was you chose to be single instead of going back to them. Like the offer was there. Maybe they thought you were going to chase them or something. But um, I don't think they realized that your rejection would hurt as much as it did. They thought you were a sure thing because you always had been in the past. And you might have even pursued them some in the past and just realized you couldn't do that anymore. But they may have reached out to you. Maybe not. It doesn't have to be romantic. I'm thinking it could be a job. Like somebody who didn't realize what a great job you were doing. Like you were going above and beyond. And they didn't know that till you left. Like you were even maybe doing things that weren't even in your job description. And maybe not even, if it's not a job, it could be a neighbor. Like maybe you're the one who always watered the plants or something in this one area and nobody knew that or, you know i just feel like there's something now that people are starting to realize you did and think of you in a different way but i also need to congratulate you for finally putting yourself first because i think what was going on was you may have been good for other people but your own actions were detrimental to yourself you were you know putting other people before you at your own cost oh afraid to be alone everything is energy question everything and i choose you yeah they're thinking of you i like that i got two cards here everything and everything because question everything and everything is energy that means see i'm here to strengthen your discernment and guide you along your path not to be like here's what's going to happen because the future can change and you need to question your just everything going on right now like here's what i just got like question the communication coming in i'm just i'm getting that this is not usually a manipulative person but that they're doing things out of character because that's how afraid they are and i don't think it's just afraid to be alone i think they really that you were very special to them that's what i'm getting to i mean sometimes it is just you know it's a narcissist who they're going to cheat on you again even though they love you right now you know they're gonna get bored no i don't get that that feeling from this I, I'm getting that there's something else going on here. There's a bigger picture that you haven't seen. That's this question everything. Look, whatever the situation is, this, just, this reading got way deeper all of a sudden for me. Um, you're going to be okay. There's nothing to be paranoid about. This is for people who are especially are really in tune with their spirit. People who, you know, we go around sort of knowing things as they happen or right before they happen, like get an inkling and it happens. And I think this is happening to a lot more of us lately as we ascend because um, I think it's a process. And anyway, um you're right to question everything when i say question communication i mean this person may be out of character in in trolling you not and when i say trolling i don't mean in a bad way i just mean like you know just you know leaving little comments that you don't realize are them they're just trying to engage you in conversation just for some reason and or they could be sending other people to do that i mean it kind of sounds petty and stupid but that's sort of just where we are in society these days and i think this person is a little bit desperate to get back in your good graces things can change so fast i think maybe you're also afraid that uh, if this person isn't the one or whatever that you've lost your chance that's not true that is not ever going to be true live your life in truth you deserve better than you are asking for um the truth is, your life can change in an instant. That's the, that is the honest truth, the God's honest truth. And I just don't think that this person needs to pull you back into whatever this is. I think, um, I'm not even saying it's over. I'm just saying now is not the right time. Please focus on other things. I, I feel like that's really what God wants me to tell you, is that you have just way more important things to do. Nothing stands in your way. Remember that. You have control over your thoughts and your body is healthy and strong. You know, the power is all in the mind, you guys. Jesus tells us that in the Bible. The kingdom of heaven is within you. You know, whatsoever a man thinketh, so is he. If you've looked upon a woman with lust in your heart, then you've already cheated. I mean, the whole thing occurs in the mind. If you have control over your thoughts, you have control over everything. Don't let anyone manipulate your thoughts. And I think that's what this person maybe is trying to do. Your body is healthy and strong. Like, you need that spoken to you, like... Look, let's claim it. I speak that energy into you, and I believe it for all of us. For some reason, you had to hear this. Like, I don't know if they wore you down before. 
if it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes you can get out of a relationship or a job even or a situation of some sort and just feel like you aged during that time because it was so stressful what you went through. It could have been six months and it felt like six years. And so I think that's what you need here is just that kind of energy. Your body is healthy and strong. To draw that in, dwell with that because it's true. Nothing stands in your way. Look, I'm just here to encourage you. You really are. You're, I don't think you're aiming high enough. I mean, look, this person puts you on such a pedestal that they are thinking of you, and they could be thinking of other people. Maybe you don't want to, you don't want them thinking of you, but you know they're going out of their way to do things that are out of character. Look, I'm just saying, at least let that boost your self esteem a little bit. <laughs> let you know, even you might think, well, who cares about that person? Well, if that if they'll do it, someone else will too, and. You know, it doesn't really matter what people think. It just, it kind of does, though. It kind of does to the point where you just have to realize that you are worthy of whatever it is. Like, I feel like I'm talking to someone who just doesn't think they're worthy of something. But you just, people see you in such a higher respect than you do. You deserve better than you're asking for. You need to know that. It's time to live your life in truth. Nothing stands in your way. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.